The science and the literature that's coming out on MDMA, for example, these psychedelics. Absolutely. It just was with the MAPS people who are getting it legalized now. I'll share that my father has an anxiety disorder, OCD. I have it. One of the inheritance. That's how God also, or it, wrote out my character. They were saying, we are the bit of the it. We are the, the bit of the it has a dad bod and OCD. But MDMA, they say, helped some folks who found no other peace when it comes to anxiety disorder. They tried this, changed everything. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so it does that. So we have experienced with people, veterans with PTSD, it does exactly that. What I believe it does, it removes or loosens the solidified neural networks of the conditioned mind. So this condition, mind is conditioned through circumstance, events, people, relationships, economics, religion, ancestors, you name it. You know, we've been conditioned, recycling of conditioned mind for 40,000 years, ever since humans created a language for telling stories. But the point is, once we started modeling our experiences, we created a mind that recycles over thousands of years. The separate mind is a socially induced hallucination as well. Fundamental reality says everything is entangled, everything is connected, interdependent, etc. The psychedelics that you're talking about, that MDMA included, I believe, and there's some evidence, loosen the neural correlates of the conditioned mind, but also decrease the activity of a part of the brain called the default mode network, which is neural correlate of your ego. So ego dissolution occurs. Mm. Which Where is they, what Sufis have been talking about. Yeah, they do the same forever. thing by swirling. Yeah. Chanting, chanting, meditation, yes, chanting, fasting. Fasting. And all these things actually increase the activity of a nerve in the body called the vagus nerve, the That's parasympathetic. Right. That's the healing system.